Bloody Animal, Confessions of a Top Pinata by Hudson Horstachio. This tell-all's gonna be a cash cow. Just look at that line of films. They've been camped out for days. Want it more? Okay, folks, so who's first? <laughs> Remember me, Huffin? Beverly Bad Fickle, your biggest fan! Most annoying fan, maybe. Hi, Beverly. Can I have your autograph? What did you do with the hundreds of autographs that I already gave you? I sewed them together and made a quilt! But maybe you're right. I don't need another scrap of paper with your name on it. Instead... <laughs> so uh... my face! Please inscribe it to my most devoted Beverly Bad Fickle, whose presence inspires me to greatness. Love, Hudson. P.S. I want to spend my life with you. You need a bigger head. Come on, hon. Time to give someone else a chance. Oh, bye, Hudson. I'll see you in my dreams. <sighs> It's going to be a best-seller. Books are flying off the shelves. Whoa, sounds dangerous, dude. No, Franklin, what I mean is... Oh, sorry, folks. Have to hold you here. But I don't see anybody coming. And I don't see anybody but you. I just need a moment to stare into your eyes. All right, step it up, boys. Move along. Ooh, kinda intense. Oh, she's completely harmless. She just has great taste in me. She's obsessed with you. Oh, don't exaggerate. Huh? I did it from memory, but reality is even better. <laughs> Pierre on the air! My most adequate guest on this day is Hudson Orstachio! Swell to be here, Pierre. The audience will now inquire you. Hello? You are all the asking now. Hi, my question is for Hudson. Go on with you. Uh, what kind of bad fickle do you like best? Uh, that's very difficult to say because, well, I guess I like all bad sickles equally. Beverly. Uh, my name is Beulah. Goodbye. <laughs> Line two. Hudson, did you ever have that dream where you were floating on a cloud with a bad sickle? Can we take a call from someone else, please? I uh, will attempt. Hello, please offer sentences. Hello, my name is Butch, long-time listener, first-time caller. You are on it, Butch. If you could only take one bad sickle to a desert island, which bad sickle would that be? Beverly! I know it! I knew he would take me! I mean, that would be very nice. Did I mention my name is Butch? Woo when cabbage goes bad, it really goes bad. Can I take that for you? Beverly! What are you doing in my garbage? Standing in something sticky. Yeah. I was just looking for some hoof clippings. You've been going through my garbage? Yeah. And your mail is really interesting, too! Which reminds me, your Hay of the Month Club subscription is about to expire. Oh. Ah! Oh. A squeezed out tube of toothpaste! It's for you if you leave right this second. I'll treather it forever. <laughs> now run along, please. Okay. But I'll be back tomorrow to dig for a matching toothbrush. <laughs> I can't take much more of this. And that should just about do it. <laughs> this new security system should keep Beverly off my property. Double locks on the windows, triple locks on the door. Ah. <laughs> Electric fence is all set. Whew. And my moat's done. Now the quicksand. <laughs> Get out of here. Drawbridge! 
Oh. Oh. Brilliant. At last, my troubles are over. Now for a nice, relaxing bubble bath. Yeah. Howdy! Uh, how did you get in here? The locks, the gates, the security system! Oh, I've been living in your attic for a week and a half. You have? You think your toaster cleans itself? It doesn't? Mm-mm. Oh, Good night. Mm. Oh. Ah! Genius, genius, genius! Hello? Hudson, I'm just calling to tell you your win a weekend with Hudson contest. It's brilliant! Huh? The perfect tie into your book! But I had nothing to do with this. You didn't? No, but I have an idea who did. Oh! As creator, sponsor, promoter, and judge of the win a weekend with Hudson contest, I am proud to announce that the winning essay was written by... Me! And to the victor goes the spoils. Hutton, who dare to you all weekend long to myself? Dinner at Le Nougat, a romantic flight to Vanilla Reef Beach, and two sumptuous surfside nights at the Sugar Sands Hotel? Looks like your biggest fan has some big time plans for you, huh? Ugh. And it's in all the papers. If I don't go through with it, it'll ruin my perfect nice guy image. Oh, yeah, and she'll be crushed. I have an idea. You don't understand. I'm out of options. Have you tried being honest? You're kidding, right? Being honest with Beverly is the only thing that'll work, brah. You may be right. Avoidance and deceit just aren't drastic enough. It's simple, brah. Just sit her down and toss it to her straight. You say, number one, you're crushing on me way too hard. Number two, I'm not worth it. Number three, have you noticed that I look stupid when I chew hay? And number 76, once you get over me, you'll be able to chill with someone who truly appreciates you. I look stupid when I chew hay? Wow, Beverly, this is some place you have. Gracious. Hudson Horstachio figurines, Hudson Horstachio wallpaper, Hudson Horstachio scented candles. Ah. Pungent. Does this hat make my snout look fat? Oh, you look lovely. <laughs> I remember my first big date. Well, actually I don't, but I'm sure it was romantic. Maybe he'll propose tonight and we'll get married. Oh, I feel faint. I remember the first time I walked down the aisle. You're married? Actually, I don't remember that either. But those 12 wedding gowns in my closet must mean something. What do Flutter Scotches study? Mathematics! <laughs> Enjoying your hay au gratin? Um, oh, it's delicious. Beverly? Yes? I have something to tell you. It must be it! The proposal I've been waiting for! Hudson, you can tell me anything. I am a horrible, horrible piñata. This is difficult to say, but... My fantasy is finally coming true! What? What is it? Beverly, we can't go on like this. I accept! Uh, wait! I, no, 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 no! Uh, listen to me carefully, Beverly. Number one, you're taking this thing way too far. Number two, I'm just simply not worth it. Number... Oh, huh. You're right. Uh, what? You're right. I, I, I am? Yeah, totally. I mean, what was I thinking? You don't even like me. It makes absolutely no sense to be together. Really? Yeah, it's completely pointless. I mean, it obviously was going to burn out at some point. It was? Oh, gosh, yes, they always do. Just a matter of time. Plus, you look stupid when you chew hay. <laughs> well, gotta go. Have a nice life. <gasps> it worked. She's gone. No more desperate fawning. No more mindless adoration. No more ego-boosting devotion. No more free toaster oven cleaning. Good gracious. I've grown accustomed to her snout. Hey! Wait! <laughs> Beverly! Come back! Beverly! Night now! Thanks! Uh, sure you don't want another autograph or something? That's all right. I have a sports car!
Hello? I'd like to apply for a restraining order. Beverly! Are you ready to roll? Yeah, baby! <laughs> if you want to find us, don't you look in the book. There's a book? Here on Pinata Highway. Come take a look. Oh, oh yeah. We're filling up with fun to give your party a swing. Swing, baby. You know the party's our thing. You know I'm dancing. Viva Pinata, we dance in the sun. In the sun, baby. You got Pinata, the party's begun. Come on now. Just taste that candy, we're sure you'll agree. Say it, Pinatas are the one for me. One more time. Say it, Pinatas are the one for me.